there, my name is Dan Pongratz, and if you'll join me, I'm gonna take you on a little journey through our TSH system. So we'll start on the top and work our way down. So obviously we have a nice tower light so that you can see if there's any issues or what have you. An operator can just be wandering around and see immediately what's going on. So if we move down a little bit, we get into the electrical area, or rather the main electrical area. We have sort of our PLC controllers on this side, we have our safety circuit over on this side, and back here, a power distribution and a motor controller here. But if we start moving down a little bit more, we can see back into here, we have our scissor uh, press. Now we have a, a locking me mechanism as well, because we are all about safety. So we uh, have that option to lock it in if you need to do, be doing work inside the machine. Now the purpose of the press is to have a nice solid uh, pressing between the two fixtures. So we have the top fixture here which is very easily loaded. You just take this, you can put it in right up there with my back to it of course, and then you just push it in all the way back. Now what's very nice about this system is that with the jig ID blocks in the back, once you load it in, the computer should know, oh, this is fixture ID 1, we're going to load the programs for fixture ID 1, minimizing the human interaction needed. So if we go down to the bottom jig, we can then load the bottom jig. Bottom jigs are generally a bit heavier, so they may require a two-person lift. So this bottom jig will go in, push, be pushed all the way back, and then you will have these two tooling pins on the side to ensure that everything is nice and aligned. Now when the board actually comes in to make sure that it's aligned on this system, we have a variety of different sensors and stoppers. So if you wanted to do multiple boards without panelization, you could have a midpoint stopper to have it come in halfway, or rather have one board come in all the way, and then another board come in halfway, so that you could have two test sites. We also have uh, a multi-position stopper that would allow you to easily adjust between a 400, 450, and 530 millimeter adjustment. So if we continue moving down the machine, we get into Teradyne's bread and butter. This is our test system. We can remove a fan so you can get a little better picture. So we, um, this is a 5X system, or rather a 52 system, so it's dual site. We have both sites that can run uh, parallel tests. Now over here we have a, a nice conveyor control, so you can, uh, if you're doing some manual work, um, you don't necessarily need the machine powered up to be servicing this. And that's the other uh, thing I should mention, is that the service, uh, the service need is really based on how often you um, uh, keep it in check, or rather tune it. So, and it's just, you know, greasing things every once in a while. If you do that, this thing could run for a hundred years. Um, the pneumatic system uh, will help control the uh, various pneumatic stoppers, so need it to suck down the uh, test fixture to the cage itself. I'm so glad you came with me today. My name is Dan Pongratz, and we look forward to seeing you in the future.